सत्या हैज ए क्वेश्चन एक्सपीरियंस अपीयर्स वन ए बॉडी इज बॉर्न नॉट द एक्सपीरियंसर इफ एक्सपीरियंसर इज द सिंगल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इज नॉट द कलेक्टिव व्यू द एक्सिस्टेंस वेन देर इज नो एक्सपीरियंस ऑन द एक्सिस्टेंस इज so when the body dies there will not be an experiencer there will not be a person to realize i am the experiencer there will be just the existence then isn't it also right to say that experiencer and experiences seen together appear together although experiencer is always there as existence it looks like there is some mix up of the duality and non duality so at the level of duality experience and the experiencer they appear together and when a point of view disappears it is only the point of view that disappears and it is only our imagination that the experience and the experiencer disappear they never disappear only the point of view goes away with the body the point of view comes with the body and it goes away with the body when there is no point of view when it is gone where is the experience and where is the experiencer it is there where they were that which is appearing is still there seen from different points of views and that which is witnessing is also still there that is what we call as the existence so seen from the non dual point of view both the experience and the experiencer are eternal they are eternally present while the illusion of these bodies come and go the essential part of the existence and the non essential is always present and the events like bodies and all these things they come and go or it appears as if they are coming and going from the dual perspective the mind knows only the duality so the mind says that with the body the world appeared and with the world the experiencer appeared the mind's point of view is uh, first person point of view so it does not know much there is not much to say there because before the body appeared there was no mind and after uh, the body is gone there is no mind so it has no authority to say anything about what is before it and what is after it so this is the dual point of view so it can the mind can only say this much that i don't know what was there before the body and when the body appeared the whole world appeared that's all it can say and it projects the future that when the body disappears the world will disappear i will disappear so on but it cannot say anything about the experiencer or the contents of the existence which are being experienced as illusions so the dual point of view is very very limited here but that is what any average person will get how to get the universal point of view there is no way all that can be known is i am that the whole cannot be perceived as whole it will be always be perceived as limited it will be always be like this that the worlds come and go in front of the experiencer the worlds and the bodies and the mind and the mental activity comes and goes in front of it it is the witness of all this it will be always like this there will never be an experience where all the points of views are seen at the same time and so on that we have discussed this thing many times so what is there as existence both a particular point of view comes and goes but the whole content of the whole wholeness is always there and we know what is it is a sea of vibrations that is always there sometimes they for, take form that vibration is also called the potential infinite potential sometimes it takes form because there is a potential that's all happens so from the point of view of the limited mind limited person it is as if something is turned on and the world appears and the body appears the mind appears then something is turned off and it disappears it, the mind projects it like this then how do we know what really happens self knowledge is the answer know that it never appears and disappear which means if the experiencer is eternally present it means that there will be some kind of experience eternally present although it won't be from this point of view how many points of views are there infinite and limited so something or other is always going on 
the experiencer which is existence itself is experiencing something or other all the time although there is no time but just to convince the mind we assume a time and we say that it is all always like this but it's not so meaningful to talk about time at the level of non duality or even at the level of duality or even at the level of mind there is no time only when the world or a regular world appears regular means with laws and all that then we can speak about time a place or something like this something organized before that there is just raw potential that takes many many forms so we say that whatever is happening here is hardly knowable it's very difficult to know what is going on you can call it the natural ignorance that every creature is limited so we'll never know what is going on we'll never know the existence as it is what can be known is only through intelligence once it is known that the experiencer is eternal it does not change anyway then and when it, when it is known that it is the universal experiencer there is only one of it and then the whole can be deduced logically that it is like this all the time so there are some mistakes in the sentences by satya when there is no experience only existence is no there is never a time when there is no experience it is always going on through different points of views almost infinite points of views are experiencing something the existence is experiencing itself through billions of eyes you can say poetically like this some of the eyes they appear disappear It hardly matters for existence sometimes i give this metaphor of watchman watching the building from many cameras many points of view many cameras 100 cameras are there sometimes one camera goes goes faulty but the watchman is still watching sometimes a new camera is installed somewhere a new new scene appears on the screen the only difference between what is happening and this metaphor is that the watchman can watch all the screens at the same time but the existence cannot do it like because experience is totally subjective at least a human cannot do it human human beings are very limited so there will always be single stream of experience which appears at some time and then disappears at some time and that appearance and disappearance is also an illusion what appears and what disappears is memory when the body comes into existence the past memory is gone it is disconnected when the body goes out of existence it becomes nothing then there are experiences where there is no way to communicate to others because body is the only way to communicate to others so there is often a question that how will i know that the experience is continuous and the answer is very simple that there is no you that person is an experience it can know nothing that which is experiencing is always doing it eternally or whatever you want to call it you see because there is no time so intellect does not go there it, it cannot talk about it there is nothing to talk about sometimes we say it like this that this business of existence is always going on 